It's feeling like a shit outside. Finally, temperatures getting back into the 60s right now. 68 in Roanoke. We're right around 70 across much of Southside. Good afternoon in Lynchburg. We are at 68. 71 for us in Withville. Gorgeous outside, nice and comfortable, bright sunshine. We're going to continue to hang on to that. Great afternoon and evening for the Bedford County Fair tonight. That's the key word. It is comfortable. We're back in the mid 70s by two. That's where we pretty much stay through the early evening as well as bright sunshine continues. 10 o'clock tonight. Temperatures starting to fall quickly once that sun goes down tonight. The air is dry. Temperatures will fall quickly. And again, we'll see uh, clear skies continuing tonight. Same story for Friday night football. Going to be a great night for it. Bring the light jacket, maybe the blanket with you. Again, temperatures cool quickly once the sun goes down. Nothing too, too crazy though. We're in the upper 60s by 8 o'clock, middle 60s by around 9. So again, by the time halftime rolls around, hanging out in the mid 60s, some of us sneaking into the lower 60s nonetheless. As some cooler air, even behind our last cold front, comes towards us. We're at 68 now in Roanoke again. Notice. Once we head towards the upper Midwest, we have temperatures in the lower 50s. That's another cold front coming in. You see the drop off between Chicago and Bismarck. There's another one hanging out just to the west of Chicago. That is going to work its way into our area late tonight and especially into tomorrow morning. That's going to give us that reinforcing shot of some cooler air. Again, nothing too crazy, but that's going to send temperatures back down to the 40s by the time uh, Sunday morning rolls around. There's the cold front again working its way through ahead of it. We are cool again. Cold front number one took us back down to the 70s. Tomorrow we're back to the lower 70s, and I think a lot of us really stuck in the upper 60s tomorrow. We're going to have complete sunshine as well, so a very pleasant afternoon, certainly feeling like fall. Again, that cooler air continues to funnel in. Heading to game day tomorrow. Again, a lot of people heading out early, 5 o'clock in the morning. The pit opens, Sports Center starting at 7 o'clock to get on TV. Upper 40s again by 7 o'clock, so bring the jacket. You'll need it tomorrow morning. Sunshine out in full force though, and by 9 o'clock, the time game day starts, we're back in the middle 40s, right around 60 by 11 o'clock. Forget about the sunshine. We have that all day, maybe a straight passing cloud. If you're heading to tailgating in the afternoon, 62 degrees for the lunch hour. Again, sitting down, maybe finishing up the grilling by around 5 o'clock, getting ready to head into the stadium. Again, it's going to be nice, upper 60s. By the time kickoff rolls around at 8 o'clock, we're hanging out in the upper 50s by around halftime. We're in the mid 50s, so keep the jacket with you again. Maybe the light blanket. Otherwise, again, going to be a perfect afternoon for a big time weekend in Blacksburg for this afternoon. We are sunny, certainly cooler temperatures heading back to the low to mid 70s tonight. We are clear. We are comfy overnight lows slipping back into the upper 40s and lower 50s change around here. Upper 60s, lower 70s tomorrow, right around 70 degrees on Sunday. Going forward, we stay in the lower 70s until we get till about Thursday. We'll start to crank up the thermostat again, just a couple of notches above where we should back to the upper 70s. Notice we keep sunshine for the entirety of this next seven day stretch, Jenna. Great forecast, Jonathan. Thanks.